Hi everyone, in this video I'll show you how to use Google Meet on the iPad. Whether you use a Mac or you use the iPad, you know the features are very similar. The interface might look slightly different, but in terms of uh, user friendliness and efficiency, I, I really like uh, this application. It's been uh, very successful with me so far. So, to access the app, you must download it from the app store, it's not default. I've already done that. So if I click on Meet itself, this is what you'll see when you access it. You'll be on camera. You're not in a session yet. What you'll need to do is one of two things, either uh, join the meeting or create one. So I'm gonna say new meeting, since I'm the teacher, give it a moment. There we go. You'll hear a little noise, a little beep, and then the join info will appear on the screen. This must then be shared with the students. You can either, uh, you know, if I click share, you can copy it and then paste it somewhere, whether an email, you can click on more, you can add it to Google Classroom. For me, I'm gonna use Hangouts. I want a few people from the office to join the session, just to give an idea of what a class would look like. I'll send this off. So Alia, Chelsea, Ines, Reham, Fifi, Joseph, and so on will receive this notification. Hopefully one or two of them will join the session so you can see uh, you know, what it will look like. So, Reham has joined. Her microphone is nope. muted. Uh, Alia has joined as well. And she's also muted her microphone. I'll go back to me. So, we've got three people in the class, one teacher, two students. So, you want to monitor, obviously, what students are doing. Encourage microphones to be switched off. You don't want some feedback or people talking over your instruction. Encourage students to use the chat section here to communicate, you know, have discussions, ask the teacher some questions, but primarily monitor this also. You don't want anyone's focus deviating from our, our task at hand. So you can see who's in the class, you can control who's in and who's out. So if I want to switch to Raham, I click pin. Uh, her camera's not on, but now I'm viewing Raham. You can also click the minus, and this will remove an individual from the class. Use if absolutely necessary if someone is not meeting the expectations, you have the right to remove them from class. The main feature is presenting. So to present, you click on the three dots along the top of the screen, top right hand corner, and you'll be presented with six options. The third one down is present screen. I'm not going to click present screen right now because when I do, it stops this recording and then it will start presenting uh, within the, the Google Meet session itse itself. But when you do press it, a small icon will appear and it will just say start, I think it's start session or start recording. You click on that and then the presentation will begin. Please remember to, you know, open up the apps, the presentations, the details that you'll be using for that session to keep it as streamlined as possible. One thing to remember, which I think is quite important, if you have any notifications set, as you're presenting, then notifications will appear. You might have some personal ones, you might have some private ones. So my recommendation is, if you're presenting for an extended period of time, you might want to, to uh, switch off your notifications so that no personal information is being shared while you're presenting to the class. That choice is entirely up to yours. You can do that through settings on your iPad. So that's how you use uh, Google Hangouts, sorry, Google Meet on an iPad. Please let me know if you have any, any questions. I'll have additional videos coming up from uh, using the Mac as an alternative to an iPad. Thank you.